a commuter train rumbles by, just meters from Golden Road Brewing, a brewery and pub in an industrial section of Los Angeles. It was founded two years ago in an old railway switching depot. Inside, the owners and brewers hold a weekly tasting meeting. Co-owner Meg Gill says this week's gathering is important. This is our first um, taste of a lot of the barrel, barrel-aged beers that we've been working anywhere from six months to two years on. Each brew has a distinctive balance of flavors. Co-owner Tony Yano varies the mix of malt and hops for every type of beer, sometimes experimenting with such flavors as coffee and citrus. It's a multi-stage process that starts with mashing the grain, straining and boiling the resulting liquid. Basically, you've taken a liquid from here and the liquid has almost no solid in it at all. Then the brewers add yeast, and the mixture starts to ferment. Yano says craft beers are a small part of the market, but demand is growing. It's in a total boom phase, and the number of different types of beers, the number of breweries, the number of beer bars, the number of people enjoying beer, it just seems to be expanding in every direction. He says that as beer drinkers develop their palates, beer makers are coming up with new products. People are really pushing the boundaries right now and finding new and interesting ways to experiment with beer and push the limits of what beer actually is. There are seasonal beers and brews that promote causes like environmental cleanup of the Santa Monica Bay. Yano says that making craft beers is an art and science and is about connecting with the local community. Hundreds of small independent craft breweries in the United States, like Golden Road Brewing, are trying to meet the growing demand for traditional beers and ales with a touch of something different. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.